Hey, you guys. Yes, it's me. Yes, I've been gone for like a minute. I say this on every video. <laughs> but no, seriously, like, like I post at certain times, but I say it on every video because I'm posting like three months apart, so. But yes, um, I am here with a, another flight attendant vlog and I'm not going nowhere <laughs> oh man like today is such a nice day I am oh that's a little oh okay I don't think I want to go out here it looks a mess but um I'm in Charlottesville Virginia and we just landed it's like around four and I don't feel like going nowhere so um yeah, that's one thing about flying. It's just you don't really feel like going outside after you look when you've been flying all day. I haven't even been flying all day, but <laughs> it's just horrible. I just don't feel like going nowhere though. I just ordered my food from um Grubhub. From Grubhub and I just got my little promo cards cold. I said card. Cold, so I just saved a little money, just a little bit. And um, yeah, so I'm just here. I just got here like 10 minutes ago. I ordered my food first and um, just kind of chilling at the moment. I wonder if I can put this right here and it don't fall. <gasps> it's not falling, y'all. This is where I'm gonna do my vlog. Okay, so where have I been? Stressed. <laughs> but no, I've been, I've been, I've been okay. I, it's not as bad. It's just, I think last month, November. Oh, it's December, by the way. I don't think I've posted a video since like the summertime. I think so. But yeah, all last month I was flying a lot. I think I was saying that too in the summertime that I was flying a lot. But all, all of um, November I flew every week at one point i wasn't flying as much but i'm flying a lot more now and this month december is my first month of me what's today monday let me hit pop on sunday but anyway <laughs> this month is the first month that i picked up trips in new york so i'm praying hoping this is not an epic fail so i'm gonna be in new york my first trip starts on the 9th of December, so I'm going to come the day before. And I have family in New York, but I feel like not all my family members live in Brooklyn. I think I've talked about that before, but all my family members live in Brooklyn. I don't think any of them live in Queens, and that's where I need to be because that's where the airports are. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I'm getting an Airbnb. So it's gonna be a lot of firsts this month. First time getting an Airbnb. Y'all pray for me. And first time taking up trips in another state. Like how am I gonna get around, Ubering, and all that. It's just like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, it's not bad. I don't think I'm gonna be like off really bad. I think it's just a new experience to this job. But um, what I have planned for today is that I'm going to get my food. My food should be here. It's set up by 4.40, so in the next 20 minutes. So in the next 20 minutes, my food should be here. Let's do the usual tour, you guys. Because it's been that long. Okay, so starting at the door. Oh, this lighting's great. Oh, I look tired. What's going on right here? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so then we move on to the bathroom. Ooh. Okay, lighting is kind of Okay, so, oh, let's step out a little bit. This is the bathroom. And we walk in. And this is the mirror. I love these mirrors that have the light around it. If I, when I get my house, 
because I'm getting my house soon. When I get my house, I want something like that, but I know I'm not gonna get it. I'm just saying, like, I like that. I probably get like some bulbs or something that make it look like that. But anyway, but yeah, this is the the shower, tub, whatever, toilets, all that. Then they have another mirror, and this is where I'm going to be sleeping. Either that bed or most likely that bed that has all the stuff on it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how long I have been, been on here, but I got a new bag. It's really big. It's way bigger than the other one I had. I have my, I have another um, suitcase, but I brought my smaller one because the plane I was going to be on today is smaller and it doesn't fit that bag for some reason. But yeah, and then this chair is over here. I don't know why I came over here. I don't know what I'm doing. Desk. And then... Charlottesville yeah you see that that's why I'm not even gonna open out here but today is a really nice day it's 60 degrees today it's so weird because tomorrow well, it's 59 right now but um tomorrow is gonna be in the 30s so it's gonna be cold it's really windy I don't know why it's, I don't know it's so weird like when I was in Atlanta yesterday it rained all day yesterday when I went outside today it was 60 degrees I was like what is going on I just assumed it was going to be really cold because it rained and it is close to winter. It's like still fall. So, oh. but um, I can't see what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm just don't fall. Please don't fall. If this is the case, I'm definitely going to push this up and I'm going to do my hair video right here. Or get one of them little chairs, push them over here and then do what I do. But um, just waiting on my food should be here rather rather soon I had a new watch I got an Apple watch the newest one they have but yeah um, I really don't have anything to talk about I just assume my food would be here like now but I'm so glad that I got here early because I, <laughs> which is funny, I'm so happy because Love & Hip Hop comes on today and it's Love & Hip Hop New York. So definitely want to watch that. And yeah, that's, that's my plan. Watch Love & Hip Hop New York at 8 o'clock. I don't even know what time changed here. I don't think so. I don't know. Everything I have is digital and it, it changes on its own. I'm, I know I didn't say that right, but I don't care. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting on my food. I think I'm just going to eat and then... I don't know why I just jumped to that. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, Y'all yeah, understand. Being a flight attendant can be so freaking hard sometimes just because... Sometimes you don't want to leave home, and sometimes, I don't know why it's not, like, it's weird. It's not smooth. I don't know what to do to make it smoother. I'm not trying to make it come up. I don't know. But it's so hard sometimes because, like, they call you out the blue, especially when you're on reserve. I think being on reserve, I think being a flight attendant is not bad. It's just being on reserve is like the worst. Just because if you're not used to having a schedule on demand, that somebody's calling you every five seconds to say, hey, you're coming here, that would stress you out alone. And we haven't even got to the point that like, they call you and be like, okay, you're going here. And you're like, okay, cool. But then you get there and they're like, oh, by the way, we're adding more stuff to your schedule. Or by the way, you're not going there no more. You're going here. That would stress you out. And then what stressed me out, like last week. Oh my God, last week was the worst week for me. They told me I was going on a day trip. They changed my schedule four times. So I only packed for like three days. Because I was like, you know, just in case they do change my schedule. So I packed for three days and I left my chargers. 
So I was mad about that. I was mad I only packed for three days because I ended up going on a four day trip. <laughs> and then on top of that, I didn't have all the stuff that I need. And I'm the type of person that like if I'm going to one place, I have to pack all type of stuff just to be comfortable for that one place. And I didn't have half of my stuff because I only packed for three days. So I was so pissed off about that. And then like when I was finally about to get back home, the day they told me I was coming back home. They waited for scheduling. It's just like, why do y'all do this to people? Y'all just, y'all stress people out for no reason. But I was on my last flight because I said, oh, you're just doing a turnaround. So I'm just going to wherever I was going and then coming right back. So I'm coming back. I came back and guess what they do? They added a two day trip on my schedule. I was so pissed off. I was so mad like I wanted to cry so bad I was so upset the whole time I was like I hate this job and I don't even hate the job I just I don't hate this job but I just hate that I don't like that I don't like being on reserve like don't wait until the last minute and then be like oh well guess what you got another trip you got a two day haha <laughs> it's like what do you mean i'm literally about to get off the plane to go to my house and you're telling me nope stay in the airport because you got another trip no no i don't <laughs> no i do <laughs> i was so upset yo like i was so mad and then like i went on another trip when was this last it had to be last week because i'm off on weekends but um i went on another trip last week it was a four day and i was like i got everything packed i'm ready it's not gonna be like the week before apparently my purse fell and i dropped all my chargers all my chargers my um earphones everything just gone so i'm sitting there i'm like oh my gosh and it had like my cards in it and everything i'm thinking i dropped it on the street so i was stressed so i was stressed so bad and the the lady I was working with, like, I'm glad she was, like, my flight attendant. I'm, my second flight attendant. I'm glad I was lying with her because she was such a bubbly person. Like, at the moment when I lost it, I was like, yo, I do not want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. And you keep talking and laughing and kikiing, and I'm just not into that right now. So, um... She left me alone. She said it. She said, I'm going to leave you alone today because you I, you just lost something. I know how that feels. So I'll just leave you alone. But tomorrow we're definitely going to talk. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was upset. So the next day, you know, she had me cracking up. Like she was hilarious. She was real cool. And she made me feel better about the trip. Like that was, that was the only, that's, that's one thing I can say about like, if you are having a bad day, the other flight attendant either will have your back and be like, girl, I understand. Or they'd be like, you know, trying to make you feel better. So that's one thing I do like about being a flight attendant is that we stick together and make make each other feel good. I'm trying to make sure that the guy don't come hear me talking to myself. <laughs> but yeah, um, sometimes the job is stressful. It's, it's okay to say that it's stressful and it's okay to say, oh my God, like why? I don't... I don't I, I, I don't hate my job though. I, I do like this job. It's just being on reserve sucks. Reserve sucks for real. Like it really sucks. So the best thing, some tips I guess I can say for reserve is um pick up trips. Pick up trips so you will know what your schedule is for next month. So that's what I did for this month. Except for this week. I didn't I didn't pick up this week because I picked up all my trips out of New York and I was like kind of scared because this is my first time doing this so I picked up all these trips and I don't even know if I can really get there I mean I, I know like I was looking at the um what is it called the thing I was looking at the flights for the 8th and on the 8th it seems like it'll be okay but that's today is the third so I don't really know is today the third yeah today's the third so I really don't know how it's going to look on the 8th. I mean, well, yeah, on the 8th. My trip is on the 9th. So I guess that's one good way so people, you know, so you won't be just like, oh, my God. Because that's how I was. I was just like, yo, y'all are calling me every day. What's up? 
it was stressing me out so but um pick up trips that helps out a lot switch switch your reserves with with line holders and it won't be as bad i guess i guess i should say this this is for regional flight attendants not mainline i don't know anything about mainline i just know about regional but if you are a regional flight attendant and you're on reserve pick up line holder trips swap them out please that will make your life so much easier because then you will know your schedule for next month I'm, I learned that because honestly I didn't I didn't really know this is how it is because for the last I don't know how many months I really wasn't getting called like that so I was home a lot and um, I didn't really experience the whole crew scheduling is calling you and you gotta be here there and there like I have people that I was in training with that was telling me like oh my god this is getting on my nerves oh my god they driving me crazy and I was just like I'm fine you know I don't know what, what y'all talking about they call me you know they call me the day before and tell me I'm going on a trip cool with me but everybody else I'm like but me I, I ain't had those problems and now all last month all October all I don't know about this month so far they call me today which today kind of sucked because they call me today and um, I, I had to take my grandma to the hospital and they called me to go to work. And I felt so bad leaving her there. I did, like, I was like, dang. I even stayed an extra 30 minutes and she was like, you gotta go, like, why are you still here? You gotta go to work, go, it's okay. So I got her, a, I had to get her a lift, which I'm glad I did <laughs> because I'm glad I did but I felt really bad leaving her but the only reason I'm glad I did oops I'm glad I did because um I gotta um I'm trying to think I don't recall putting in my um my SD card I think it's still in my computer so I don't know what I'm recording on <laughs> I think it is we'll see but um i'm glad i did give my grandma a lift because i did it through ebates and no i'm not sponsored by them i wish i was but um i did it i did it on ebates and i got 20 dollars cash back i was like oh grandma you done help me out i'm so happy but ebates is saving my life lately i've been buying stuff because i i always I always gotta buy something so i've been buying stuff and i've been getting a lot of money back i bought this watch on ebates through i should say on through ebates and i got some money back it wasn't a lot it was like two dollars but i got twenty dollars cash back from doing lift yes so i'm kind of happy about that i'm looking at it now so in all it says i got twenty four dollars which is not a lot because I, I was i've been using ebates but I always forget to use the app because you got to activate it through the app and then it sends you to wherever you need to go and that's what happened with me so <laughs> i got twenty dollars i'm happy and then i got twenty dollars cash back for buying this watch through my paypal account <laughs> probably shouldn't say that on the camera but whatever but um yeah i got five more minutes until let me see i didn't even check look at me they supposed to be coming in five minutes to send my food. Five to something. It says from 4:40 to 4:50, so five ten minutes from now, they'll be delivering my food. Oh, all last week though. I went to all type of places. Was it last week? One of them weeks. I went somewhere. I went somewhere in Illinois. I went to oh Peoria. I went to Peoria, and um, when I went to Peoria, I went to Port. Por Portotello's, is that what it's called? Portotello. The food was so good. I had a um a steak, a um cheese steak. Really good. Then I turned around and I ended up getting a burger. Was it a burger? Yeah, I got a burger because I was scared to eat the um hot dog because they're known for their hot dogs. They're known for the cake. Their um their black cake. Not it's not black cake. I'm sorry their um chocolate cake <laughs> my caribbean's are telling me how their um 
they're known for their chocolate cake and their hot dogs so i was scared to eat the hot dog for whatever reason but i didn't i had the burger and then i had to turn around and their fries are so good and i had the um i had their cheese steaks it's called the one i had was the big beef that was so good oh my god so anytime i go back i'm going there and i'm going to eat that because that was amazing but yeah but I've been trying to eat a little more healthier, so anytime I order anything from anything, I eat it with a salad or I get fruit with it or something like that. So that's what I did. I had the big beef and then I ordered um, a smoothie. I saw her make it, so I know it was fresh. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know if that means it was really fresh, so don't count me on that. Don't say nothing. Y'all, leave me alone. Um, and then when I ordered again and had the burger, I ordered up like three things of fruit, which was pretty good for me. Uh, Life Size coming on today. The second one. They've been promoting the hell out of Life Size too. I don't even know if I want to watch it because Tyra Banks is on it, but Lindsay Lohan's not on it. But the girl from um, Secret Life is on there and I love her. I think she's she's so pretty to me. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if I should, um, yeah. I have no idea. But, um, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. It starts at 5. Alright, y'all. So, I got up the shower, obviously. I just did half of my other video. And I'm just gonna let this dry for a little while. And then... I'm going to use the blow dryer. So I'm just probably gonna end up letting it air dry because I'd rather it air dry like that. And I'm gonna turn the heat on in here because it's really cold. But I'm watching Living Hot Love in Hip Hop. It just came on, so I'm excited. I was on the phone with my sister and she was just like, I just can't believe you watch this show and you're this excited. And I said, Yeah, I'm only watching it because well not really i watch it every season for new york and atlanta but i'm really watching it i'm really into it because i watched the joe button podcast so when he got back on this it's funny because like they've been talking about it on his podcast so um they said that they were going to do a review and i want to be doing the review with them so yeah i'm watching it right now I don't want to put it on there, but um, mm, I didn't know that. <laughs> she's a real friend. I like Juju from get go. She's a real friend and she's a real woman. Like, she is the definition of being a real woman. So I met Alexis Sky once, but I was her Lyft driver, and that's why I met her. She had the nastiest attitude, but I. I'm not saying she's a nasty person, but I'm saying that she had a nasty attitude at that point because somebody broke into her house and somebody broke into her house. So I can see why she was upset, but she was like mad the whole time. But I think she would probably be a nice person if that didn't happen that day. Like she just, I don't even know how long ago that was. Uh, I think it was this summer. She just moved into the house that she was, it was a town, it was a townhouse, condo type thing. Anyway, probably shouldn't have said that, because she probably still has a place. But, um, she, um, her, her house got broken into, and she thinks she knows who did it. So I, I get why she was upset. Only reason I know this is because I heard her whole conversation, because at first I was like, who the heck? I didn't know who she was at first. At first when she came in my car, she had on sunglasses and stuff, so I was just like, okay. And she started talking, and I was like, damn, she sounds so familiar. And then I just happened, like, while we at the red light, I just happened to scroll, and I saw her picture, and I was like, that's the same chick that's behind my seat. But yeah, she was going off. She was upset. She was mad. So I was like, maybe she would have been nicer if she, um... Yeah, maybe she would have been nicer if she, um... If that didn't, if she didn't just get her house broken into, that, that makes sense. It makes sense on why she was mad. So, where's Alexis Sky, honey? Because her grandmother has a whole nother accent. Let me find out she's Caribbean. 
She probably is. I don't know nothing about her. I, I really don't know nothing about Alexa Scott. I'm about to die. Get my charger. Oh yeah, they Caribbean. <laughs> that face expression she just made. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. I used to love jewels. I used to love jewels. I remember when Mayo came out, I bought his album. I still got it. That's funny. That's a Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> But no, seriously, I, I bought his album. I still had it. No, I'm sorry. That wasn't him. That was Mims. I bought Mims' album. <laughs> wow, that was a big jump. My bad, Mayno. I tried you. That's y'all not even the same at all. That's funny. I thought I was doing something too. Talking about I, I bought his album. No, I didn't. I bought Mims' album. I got his album. That is hilarious. I like this season because they are so mature on this season. Like they, they, they're older, and I guess they realizing what they doing and what's going on around them. That's that's good. I'm not just doing stupid stuff. My come, my thing is dying. Y'all not gonna be able to finish this with me. I think I have my other battery, but I think I'm dying. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I will turn this off since it's dying. But um, I don't want this to just cut off, so I will see y'all. I guess I didn't tell y'all where I was. Okay, so I'm in Charlottesville. No, I did. I did say. Well, I'm going back home tomorrow, so see y'all later. Bye! It's so great to be back. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, my lips are ashy. I want to get off. Bye!